नंद बाबा के आंगन में बज रही आज बधाई नंद बाबा के आंगन में बज रही आज बधाई नगारा 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 जोर से बजाते में तूने क्या कर लिया नगारा जोर से बजाते में तूने क्या कर लिया बोले गणपति भगवान की जय भवानी शंकर भगवान की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय सिया बर राम चंद्र की जय बाल कृष्ण लाल की जय 
ज्वलित पिंगल लोचनाय नागेंद्र हार कृत कुंदल भूषणाय ब्रमेंद्र विष्णु वरदाय नम शिवाय श्री गुरु चरण सरोज रज निज मन मुकुर सुधार बरनो रघुवर विमल जसु जो दायक फल चार बुद्धि न तनु जान के सुमिरो पवन कुमार बल बुद्धि विद्या दे हो मुहि हार हो कलेश विकार जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपीश तिहु लोक उजागर राम दूत अतुलित बल धाम अंजनी पुत्र पवन सुत नामा महावीर विक्रम बजरंगी निवार सुमति के संगी चंचन वरद विराज सुरेश कानन कुंदन कुंज हाथ भद्र और भजा विराज आदि तेज प्रताप महाजगवन विद्यावान गुणीय पिछात राम काज करीबे को आकर प्रभु जरत सुनी बे को रखी राम निधन सीता मन बसिया सूक्ष्म रूप धरि से लिखा रूप धरि रंग जराव भीम रूप धरि असुर सवार राम चंद्र के काज सवार
संकट हरण मंगल मूर्त रूप राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय में बसहू सुरभूप बोले पवन सुत हनुमान की जय सिया भज राम चंद्र की जय ऑन दिस द फोर्थ डे ऑफ आवर श्रीमत भागवत महापुराण वी बाउ टू भगवान श्री कृष्ण who tonight will manifest himself as the most colorful and one of the most dynamic avatars of bhagwan shri narayana who came and become he became the son of mata yashoda nanda baba vasudev and devaki who left vaikuntha and became a brother to balram who became a friend of the gopis who became gopala of course the protector of the cows and the innocent who became girivar govardhan who became govardhan tonight we welcome shri krishna into our lives as we prepare for his presence tonight the fourth day always is krishna janam in a bhagavat where bhagwan maha ma, purushottam shri krishna bhagwan manifests himself Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya कृष्ण तदीय पद पंकज पंजरा अध्यव मे विशतु मानस राज हंस प्राण प्रयाण समय कब बात पित कंथारोधन विद्यो स्मरण कुतस्ते धेय सदा परिभवग्नमीष्ट दोहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचिन्ूत शरण्यम भ्रत्याटिहम प्रणतपाल भवाषम वंदे महापुरुष ते चरणविंद भजे व्रजेक मंदल समस्तपन भजे व्रजे मंदल समस्त पुखंदन स्वभाकचित रंजन सदैव नंदनंदन सुपेच गोचमस्तक सुनाद वेणुस्तक अनंग रंग सागर नमा कृष्ण नागर भजे व्रजे मंदल समस्त पुखंदन
मनोज गर ममाचनम विशाल लो लोचनम विधूत गोप शोचनम नमामि पद्मलोचनम करार विंद भूधरम स्मितावलोक सुंदरम महेंद्र मानदारनम नमामि कृष्ण वारनम भजे प्रजेक मंदलम समस्त पाप कंदनम कदंब सून कुंदलम सुचारुगंध मंदलम ब्रजांगने कबल्लभम नमामि कृष्ण तुल्लभम यशोदया सगोदया सगोपयासनंदयां युतं सुके कदायकं नमामि गोपनायकं भजे ब्रजे कुमंदलं समस्त पाकुंदनं सदे पाद पंकजम मदीयमान से निजम दधानु मुक्ति मालकम नमामि नंद बालकम समस्त दोष शोषनम समस्त लोक पोषनम समस्त गोप मानसम नमामि नंद लालसम भजे ब्रजे कुमंदलम समस्त पाप कुंदनम भजे प्रजेक मंदलम समस्त पाप खंदनम समस्त पाप खंदनम समस्त पाप खंदनम प्रेम से बोलो श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान की जय वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की Welcome to all of you in uh, in the temple. Of course, people have come out, and uh, all of you online as well. Bhagwan's blessings, and thank you for joining us. Nigamakal pataror galitam shukamukadam rutasanyutam pipatabhagavata rasamalayam muhurahu rasika bhuvibhavaka. In life, we uh, quench our physical thirst by drinking water. People intoxicate themselves by putting substances in the body. But the lovers of Sri Krishna, Pipata Bhagwata Rasamalayam, they drink, they do not eat the sweetness of the mango, they drink the juice of the mango. Pipata Bhagwata Rasamalayam Muhuraho Rasika Bhuvibhavaka. The happiness that we will find just for a few hours because of material things that it will come and it will go it will come and it will go but the happiness that we find in bhagavatam the happiness that we find at the feet of prabhu the happiness that we find in satsang that is perennial it will come it will go and it is infinite it will be experienced not only for a few hours but longer 
And that kind of happiness is very fulfilling and very satisfying. Bhagwan Shri Krishna's blessings to all of you. The Bhagavatam, like the flow of the Ganga, like Ganga is the greatest of all rivers. Like Bhagwan Shivji is the greatest of all the Vaishnavas. Vaishnavanam yata shambho purana nam idam tatha. Similarly, there is no purana as great as the Bhagavat Mahapurana. Ye Amar Granth Ye Mukti Panth Ye Pancham Ved Nirala Nav Jyoti Jagane Vala Ye Amar Granth It is the abode of Amar, of Nectar. Ye Mukti Panth It is the source of Mukti, freedom. Or Ye Pancham Ved Nirala Or this is the Pancham Ved as well. Nav Jyoti Jagane Vala And it gives us the nine lights of life which is the nine forms of devotion. And this evening we continue in this devoted mind as we, my friends, go to Vrindavan. You know, they say that we cannot bring, if we have never gone to Vrindavan as yet, then when I speak of Vrindavan, what do you know? But, my friends, it is not necessary to physically go there. It is important to bring Vrindavan to us. It is such a place of love. It is such a place of happiness. And no matter what people say, how it is kept and how it smells and how it looks, you have to go there for one reason, and that is to extract Krishna. Not to see him, but to extract him from Vrindavan and to bring him with you. Just like we go to pick a lotus flower. When you have to go to pick a lotus flower, it is a very unpleasant place and it's a very unpleasant smell because it chooses to beautify the impure environment. And you have to sometimes go in the trench where it is. You have to go in the trench where there are all kinds of things. Just to extract, just to pick it and to bring it. <laughs> I remember a few years ago when we went to do uh, the blessing ceremony for a new mandir in the Edward. I told the people there, you want to pay off the debts of the mandir? They said, yes. I said, okay, let's do this. Go and bring me 1,008 lotus flowers. And they drove and they drove at the back dams and the Georgetown and everywhere. And they, they went in the ponds and everywhere. You got to see these guys, you know, what they did. The unpleasant smell and the unpleasant places where the lotus flowers choose to grow. And they brought a whole car load of lotus flowers. To extract the beauty, my friends, we have to make sacrifices. Vrindavan is a place where we go and uh, we make some sacrifices. That is where Krishna Bhagwan's Prem Leela was. That is where his Prem Leela was. He has a lot of Leela. Vrindavan was his Prem Leela. And so we go there this evening as we bring Sri Krishna Bhagwan to us. Zara chalke Vrindavan dekho Zara hatke zamane se dekho Shama Bansi Bajate Milenge Kiradha Sadham Sadhanam Yasya Radha Mantra Radha Mantra Dhatri Charadha Sarvam Radha Jeevanam Yasya Radha 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 Vanchikam Tasya Shesham Zara chalke vrinda van dekho Zara hatke zamane se dekho Sham bansi bajate milenge Sham bansi bajate milenge Zara chalke vrinda van dekho Zara hatke zamane se dekho Shama Bansi Bajate Milenge 
शाम मुरली बजा के मिलेंगे झूला झूल रही होगी राधा रानी झूला झूल रही होगी राधा रानी शाम झूला झूलाते मिलेंगे शाम झूला झूलाते मिलेंगे जरा चल के वृंदावन देखो जरा हट के जमाने से देखो शाम बंसी बजाते मिलेंगे शाम मुरली बजाते मिलेंगे श्री राधे साथ में उनके ग्वाल बाल होंगे साथ में उनके ग्वाल बाल होंगे शाम गौवे चढ़ाते मिलेंगे शाम गौवे चढ़ाते मिलेंगे जरा चल के वृंदावन देखो जरा हट के जमाने से देखो शाम बंसी बजाते मिलेंगे शाम मुरली बजाते मिलेंगे श्री राधे गई होगी राधा रानी राधा राधा रानी अब लूट गई होगी राधा रानी अब रूट गई होगी राधा रानी शाम उनको मनाते मिलेंगे शाम उनको मनाते मिलेंगे जरा चल के वृंदावन देखो जरा हट के जमाने से देखो शाम बंसी बजाते मिलेंगे शाम मुरली बजाते मिलेंगे जरा चल के वृंदावन देखो जरा हट के जमाने से देखो शाम बंसी बजाते मिलेंगे शाम मुरली बजाते मिलेंगे शाम बंसी बजाते मिलेंगे शाम बंसी बजाते मिलेंगे बोले श्री राधा कृष्ण भगवान की जय वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय लास्ट नाइट वी फिनिश्ड भागवत महापुराण इज वेड इन सर्टन वे एज यू नो व्हेन वी आर डूइंग अ ट्रेडिशनल भागवत सप्ताह यू हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम बुक वन And on the fourth day, you have to finish reading the book nine, and then go on to book ten, which is Dasham Skanda, where Sri Krishna Bhagwan makes his appearance, and so on. Last night we brought to you Maharaj Dhruv. Dhruv Maharaj, at a young age of six, approximately, when he was deprived from sitting on his father's lap by his stepmother Suruchi. He went and he cried to his mother Suniti, "Mama, my father doesn't, uh, or of course, uh, my stepmother doesn't allow me to sit on my father's lap. If my father doesn't love me, then who will love me?" Suniti said to young Dhruva, "Do not try to win the confidence of a person, win the confidence of the Creator, because when." Uh, When somebody have confidence in you, they have confidence in you because you have an ability. You have an ability to do something, and the minute you lose that ability, then their confidence in you drops. My son Dhruva, 
Do not try to win the confidence of your father, even your mother. You know, there's a saying in life, do not look up to anyone, do not look down at anyone. Do not look up to anyone, do not look down to anyone. Because most likely, my friends, the ones who we look up to will fail us one day in life. And the ones who we look down to, it's not good to look down in the first place. Look inner and find Krishna in there. How is it that we are going to enjoy Sri Krishna Katha? Parvati Mata, you know, she was listening to Bhagwan Shivji talking about Ram's story. And she was not getting it. She was not getting it. Par Shivji Maharaj was, Shivji Bhagwan was talking about Ramji Bhagwan, Ramji Bhagwan, Rama Nama Narakesari, Kanaka Kasipur Kalika, Japaka Jehapralalame, and so on. Parvati Mata is not getting it. Shivji started to talk about yoga and bhoga and all this kind of thing. She's not getting it. Shivji gave her the 112 ways, the pathways of yoga, Ashtanga Yoga. She's not getting it. Bhagwan Shivji says, if I am narrating you what, and you cannot get it, then who will get it? And then the Lord, my friends, the Lord told Parvati, you know, when a husband and wife is sitting to talk, there is some, some, there is some sense of intimacy in this process. There is closeness. There is a sense of intimacy. Bhagwan Shivji he told the world that in order to understand Ram Katha, one has to become intimate with the Katha, with the Lord Himself. To understand the Sri Krishna's Katha or to fall in love with Krishna, you have to become a gopi. You have to become a gopi. And you have to be thirsty. Thirsty for what? Not the makhan. The makhan was the only readily thing available for Krishna to eat. That's why he liked it. But you have to be thirsty. Darshan do ghan sham nath more akhiya pyasi re Darshan do ghan sham Darshan do ghan sham Give me your darshan, O Shama, because my eyes are thirsty. When we are thirsty, we quench our thirst with water. When our, our eyes are thirsty, we have a glimpse of the Lord. Shivji tells this to Parvati, and of course Vyasji tells this to all of us. Shukadev Mahamuni, why did you think he describes, the Bhagavatam is described as Shukadevji pecking on a mango? Because the Bhagavatam is as sweet as a mango, pecked by the bird. And he is right in front of here. I'm sure, me, sure you've seen him. Shukadevji Maharaj. And let me show you if you haven't seen him. He's, uh, he's the narrator of the Bhagavatam. Um, he came from Vrindavan and he's a parrot mouthed sage and he's narrating to Parikshit Maharaj. He's narrating to Parikshit Maharaj. Parikshit Maharaj has three more days to live. Parikshit Maharaj says, Tell me Dhruv Katha last night. Shukadev Mahamuni says, Dhruv was a boy and he was neglected love and he asked his mother, Whose confidence I should win? His mother says, Narayana. He goes to the forest and he doesn't know. You know, I said last night, Dhruv Maharaj says, Prabhu, Mata, rather, that what is the right age to meet God? A six-year-old boy asked the, law, the mother, what is the right age to meet God? Our children are asking different questions these days. What is the right age to have a cell phone? What is the right age to have a Facebook page? What is the right age to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Right? The questions are a little different these days. What is the right age? Well... His mother says there is no right age. Anytime, of course, it's better to start from small, but anytime. He went, he did not know what to chant. Naraji met him and threatened him, if you don't go back right now, the lions are going to eat you out. He says, Mujhe Bhagwan milna chahiye. I just want to meet my Bhagwan. Naraji says, look at you, six-year-old, you don't even know to talk properly. So instead of giving him long mantra, Sahastra Sirsa, Purusa, Sahastra Aksha, Sahastra Pa, Sabhu Bhim, Vishwato, Vritto, Atya, Tishta, Dasham, Gulam, Purusha, Vedagam, Sarvam, Yad Bhutam. Naraji says, stop all the long, long story. Take this mantra, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Own the mantra, take the mantra, make this mantra part of your, your soul. Let every fiber of your body, let every pore of your skin reflect this mantra. Dhruvji Maharaj held on to the mantra, chanted it, chanted it, until Narayan came. 
the power is not in the mantra you have to put the power in the mantra to make it powerful right you have to put the power you can buy a speeding car a ferrari or whatever we buy these days but without a tank of gas or without of electricity it will never run you have to put the power in the mantra i can give you so many powerful mantras are you willing to consecrate it are you willing to charge it up Dhruvdi Maharaj, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva. He made, he became one with the mantra, he became one with Narayana. Ma Maharaj Parikshit, the dying king, heard this katha and he was so inspired. Shukadev Mahamuni, the parrot-mouthed sage. He says, Parikshit Maharaj, or kya sunna chahiye? What else do you want to hear? Maharaj Parikshit says, Prabhu, please tell me about Maharaj Rishabh. These are kathas we don't hear. We hear a lot of other kathas, but we don't hear this a lot. You know what traditional Bhagavat? It is read twice a day for three hours each session. In India, one session lasts for four hours. People sit down, one, they don't get up. I witnessed this, Dono Kiyaku in Brindavan. 30,000 people sat down. And they don't, you know, they sit under a big tent and the Maharaj lecture for four hours. Hot sun. Hot sun. And the, the ladies took their sari and they're wiping their sweat. The man took their scarf and they're wiping hot sun. But they're so devoted. And uh, there's so much you can accomplish only in, three, in one and a half hours. No? But we do our little best to give you glimpses of the katha. Maharaj Parikshit says, uh, Shukadev Mahamuni, please tell me about Maharaj Rishabh. What kind of a king he was and how did he pass on his, uh, you know, his kingdom? to his lineage. Maharaj, uh, Shukadev Maharaj says that, I will tell you about Rishabh. Maharaj Rishabh was a, a very accomplished king. He had many sons. He had many sons, but above all of them, amidst all of them rather, he had one son by the name of Bharata. This is not the Bharata of Ramayana. No? This is another Bharata. He had one son by the name of Bharata and he selected this son. These days our property, our belongings and everything is, uh, you know, or not these days, long ago. We used to say, oh, he's the eldest son, so he must get house and land. <laughs> and he's the youngest son, he not get nothing. <laughs> that was how it was. Eldest son, he get house and land. So what about the guy like me? I'm the youngest in the family. What did I get? Nothing. <laughs> right? That is how he was. But Ram Charitmanas tells us, Eka pita ke bipula kumara, a parent, uh, uh, mother and father will have many children. Koi pandit, koi gyani, tapa. Some of them will be pandit, some of them will be gyani, some will be tapasui. Lekin ek putra or ek beti, there will be one child, you know, among all of them who can never go to sleep without thinking about mother and father. Who will wake up in the morning and the first thing when they open their eyes, they think about mom and dad. Bharata was one of those children. You have one of that in every family. One only. There's only one like that in every family. And you know what the others think? Ah, my, he love mom and dad. So me, me, me can carry on my way. <laughs> I can go do this and I go do that. Who will love mom and dad? She love mom and dad. Right? Always it happens in a family. There's one who cannot go to sleep without thinking about mommy and daddy and who cannot wake up without thinking about mom and dad. This is the reality of life. We, if we try to fix those problems, my friends, we're going to spend a lifetime trying to understand them before we fix them. Bharata was one of those children. And so when Maharaj Rishabha found that Bharata was that child, you know what he started to do? He started to mold him. He started to mold him, Maharaj Rishabha. So he called all his sons one day and his other children. And he narrated to them the purpose of life. Maharaj Bharata, Maharaj Rishabh. He started to narrate to them the purpose of life because he's now going to go. The father knows that he's not going to spend much time on this earth. He has to go, he has to depart. So what did he do? Mahat Sevam Dwahamar Vimukti Stamo Dwarang Yoshitam Sanghi Sangam 
महान तस्ते समचित प्रशांत विमन्य वुहृद साधवो ये वशीषे कृत सौहृदार्थ जनेशु देहम भरवाट केशु गृहेशु जायाजराजिमस्तुना प्रीतियुक्ता वदयाशलोके ही कॉल ऑल इज सन्स and he tries to educate them because he's now going to leave what he tells them he tells them about the purpose of this body ki putro nayam deho deha bhajam raloke krishna na kama nahate vibhanjubam this body or the this human body that we have is the mortal world in the mortal world does not deserve to be given up to the pursuit of pleasures i think we all know this बड़े भाग्य मनुष्य ने पावा सो दुर्लभ संत जब ग्रंथ ने कहा अमंग ऑल द 8 मिलियन 400 थिंग्स दैट वर क्रिएटेड दिस इज द ओनली व्हीकल द ओनली व्हीकल दैट कैन गेन इमेंसिपेशन दैट कैन फाइंड गॉड ऑन दिस अर्थ एंड इन द हेवेंस माय सन्स इट मस्ट नॉट बी यूज्ड फॉर अ फॉर द परस्यूट ऑफ सेंशुअल प्लेजर्स व्हिच इज अ सोर्स ऑफ मिजरी which is which is enjoyed even by the swines the dogs and the animals that feed on filth maharaj rishabh is saying that the pleasures we seek with this body are the same pleasures enjoyed by the swine by the dog ahar nidra madavaitunani there's a beautiful shloka dharme nahi na pashubhi samana what is the difference between a human being and a dog they eat they sleep they procreate they go to washroom they run about they drive in in expensive cars more than you these days right what is the purpose between us and a dog dharme nahi na pashu bhi samana dharme nahi na na hi na without dharma without dharma pashu bhi samana we are just like them without dharma maharaj rishabh he explains this philosophy to his children about the philosophy of life that what purifies the mind my beloved sons to sublime austerities where the mind is purified and from purity of mind follows the unending bliss of absorption into god bhagwan the wise speak of service rendered to the saints and to dharma service is an open gate seva is an open gate to liberation and fellowship with those who are divine is a gate to emancipation he educates them he tells them pusham stita mithuni bhavritam tayor mitho hridayam tigrahu ato grihashche trasuta bhibharte जनस्य मोहाय महम ममे तू दट द यूनियन एज हजबंड एंड वाइफ ऑफ अ मैन विथ अ वुमन द वाइफ स्पीक ऑफ विथ एज अनादर नॉट बाइंडिंग देर हार्ट्स टुगेदर इन अ शेप ऑफ आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद द बॉडी ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग एंड ही टेल्स अबाउट द पर्पस ऑफ द यूनियन ही इज एजुकेटिंग ही प्रिपेयरिंग दैम फॉर लाइफ that the purpose of union is to multiply our gunas our behaviors is to multiply our behaviors well i have always talked this i think every day almost i talk this the purpose of marriage is to multiply your qualities so the dulaha brings his qualities the dulahin brings his qualities and whatever qualities they have it is multiplied so if they have loving joyful blissful qualities and loving joyful blissful qualities when they come together mountain of loving joyous blissful qualities but then if they have negative 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 you know negative 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 this multiply by this gives a mountain of this so whatever we bring to marriage that is why we multiply that is why we multiply my friends he educates them the purpose of union he teaches them about marriage the purpose of union is not for the body it is for bringing our qualities together 
and my friends, he educated them. He talked about the classes of creation and among all of them, he taught them that the human being is the highest of all forms of life. He talked about the worship of the Brahmanas, the Brahmana, Brahmanusya Mukhamasit. He says that the Brahmanas are the mouthpiece of the Lord. They eat for the Lord, they drink for the Lord, they speak for the Lord. Whatever the mouth is used for, it is an offering to Bhagavan, Brahmanas. He told them about the adoration of the saints. And then what happened? Maharaj Rishav, Nanunam Bhagava Atmaranam Yoga Samir Gyanam Vabhuchitam Karma Vijanam Eshavarnam Punaham. Maharaj Rishabh, after he finished educating his children and he led a life that they could benefit from, Maharaj Rishabh, he set his son, Bharata, to rule the kingdom. And Maharaj Rishabh quit the body. We are going to die one day. I told you last night, Maharaj Parikshit, when Maharaj Parikshit, when he heard that he was going to, he has only seven days to die, Maharaj Parikshit thought in his mind that he's the most fortunate man in this whole world. Why? Because he knew exactly when he was going to die. You and I don't know that. That is why we are, it is unfortunate for us. Therefore, every day, live a life that your children can pattern. Teach your children as though tomorrow will never happen. When Maharaj Rishabh quitted his body and he went away, my friends, Bharata became the king. You know, India is named Bharat Mata, right? It is named Bharat Mata. It is named after this Bharata from the Bhagavat Mahapurana. King Bharata now, he became the king. And what happened? He ruled and he prayed and his tapasya, his morning tapasya, his evening tapasya to God was unmatched. There was no one parallel, there was no one equal to his, because the teachings came from his father. And one day, my friends, Bharata, as he is so fond of praying and pujas, he went to the Ganga and he was praying. Ekadatu Mahanadyam Kutabheshekanayamam Mikavashko Brahmanashmin Vibhano Mahutaryaham. After bathing in the Brahm in the river, he came out and he sat and he started to chant Tatra Tada Rajat Harini Pipasam Jala. He started to chant the mantra Om. That's all he chanted. <laughs> we are looking for different things last night. You know, I told you, people are looking for difficult mantra, Om, Brim, Brahm, something, 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 because we feel that will give us, that is more, you know, uh, more powerful than Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai. Tell somebody to chant Om Namah Shivai, Pranaji, I know that, it's not powerful. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai, that's too simple, you don't know anything. But somebody give you some tang tung ting tong boy, people get crazy over that stuff. They get crazy over that stuff because they think that, you know, the mantra, is going to take them and not us. We have depended so much on external things and we have not given much importance to ourselves. Bharata chanted the mantra Om for two and a half hours. At the end of it all, he felt very blissful and, and that kept you know, his devotion going. But what happened? On that day, a little deer came in his way, a baby deer. And what happened? What you call baby deer? Fawn, right? Fawn? Fawn. Yeah. We say baby, big goat, baby goat, big sheep, baby sheep. Very simple. Nowadays, English, fawn. So baby deer come. And the baby deer was so cute. The fawn, so cute. But, and he came and you know the fawn started to, uh, to nibble on him and to lick him and all that kind of stuff. And, he felt great about that. Animals naturally attract people who have very calm and cool minds and all that. You know, the cobra test and things like that. The cobra doesn't hear songs and things, but it senses your agitation or your love, and it doesn't harm you or it harms you based on that. So the fawn came, and the fawn started to, you know, lick his hands and so, and uh, oh, he says, wow. So he became so attached to this fawn. He became so attached to the fawn. 
And what happened? Tam trena krishnam, tam trena kunkam, kripanam krasenam, hyamana bhikshi bhyashibhum bhadushnam. He became, he took the fawn home and he, the fawn came into his kingdom. He gave him a bath and he became friends with it. Afterwards, what happened? He and this baby deer become great friends. He took the baby deer, you know, in his palace, gave him a bed. Every morning he would check on him. What happened now? He forgot about his prayers. He forgot about his pujas. He forgot about his people. He forgot about Bhagwan. And he is now so attached to this deer. He is so attached to this deer. Bharata, it is not wrong to protect animals. It is not wrong to, to give them shelter. It is never that wrong. Right? And I've said this many times. It's not that wrong. And then somebody will come afterwards and say, Paniji, how come you're not going dog? Or how come you're not going cat? Well, you don't know this, but I've always told you this. I was 19 when I left Guyana, and for all of the 19 years I've lived, I had the most cats in the village. Most cats in the village, for some reason, uh, they come to me. I don't know why. At one point, we had 20 cats. So I was very slim then. You know why? <laughs> because when I'm eating, they all will come, meow, 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 all in front of me, big one, little one, all that kind of thing. The first cat we had in the home, I was so little. His name was Pugu. Big and fluffy. Oh, and when my neighbor poisoned him, a horror. My heart shattered. I was a child. I tell my kids this story all day, all the time rather. And then Pugu had a, a lot of kittens, but the most favorite of Pugu was a, a beautiful cat named Tampesi. <laughs> it's funny names, right? We give her, you know, and then you become so attached, and then Tampesi died because she was so beautiful. And you know what I found all those years I lived with the animals? And dogs as well, they came because we always had food for them. They love dal and rice. Like, you know, you feed them dal and rice, they eat that. But you know what I found? Every time one of them died, or every time some, some people used to steal our cats because they were so beautiful. Every time somebody stole one and I went over and I saw, you know, the cat in their home and the cat would run over, it broke my heart. It just, it just broke my heart. So coming to Canada, of course, a cat or a dog is like a child, you know that. It requires even more maintenance, you know, your children can go and take a bath and they eventually go to doctor and walk by themselves and do, but you have to take time off work, you have to, it requires a lot of maintenance. And because of that, I've never committed to, to do that because of schedule and my lifestyle. But I admire all those who have, you know, kept an animal and, and do whatever you want. We had a little fish a few years ago. We had an outside Father's Day program here and we had some kind of fish thing. So we take, we take home the little fish and we name him Fishy. His name was Fishy. And the whole family got so attached to Fishy. Every day we'd go, we'd talk to him. I don't know if it's a him or a horror, but we call him fishy, you know. And we will talk to it and we'll put our hands and one day fishy died. And the whole house was in mourning for a week. I'm like, tal, tal, this not happen again. <laughs> no more animals in the home. And of course, all of us want an animal, but Sita is not giving in to that. So when she, that vote just suppresses all the other vote, you know. One vote comes over five votes, so you can't argue that vote. So for that reason, we've, I've, I've never, because of lifestyle and because of whatever, and it just, it's a lot of work and attachment, most of all. Because when that animal goes, and it will go one day, it will shatter a lot of the hearts. Jada Bharata, he closed up the animal bedroom, he bring over the animal, the, the little, the fawn to his, and he gave him pillow and so on to sleep. And one day, Jada Bharata, he sat in his dying bed, and he was dying. And instead of antakale chama meva smaran muktva kale vadam yaha prayati samad bhavam yati nasrata sanjaya, Krishna Bhagavan says, at the last moment of your, of your birth, of your death, <laughs> last moment of your breath, of your life, rather, when you're dying, 
Garud Puran says the last 40 seconds of your life, if you can think of God, generations and generations, lifetimes and lifetimes of Papa, of sins are destroyed. Jada Bharata, instead of losing, of using that time to think about Narayana or call Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva, as he was dying, he says, Where is the deer? Where is the deer? Where is the deer? Where is the deer? And he died. And Jada Bharata was born again in his next, he was born back to be a deer. Antakale Chamameva. Remember this today. Whatever we die, whatever is on our mind and we die with, that is what we'll become. If we think about the luxuries and everything else, we'll have to come back again to, to, to you know, relive those desires. A desireless person, my friends, I told you last time, be a free soul. That doesn't mean you have to be single for the rest of your life or unattached or whatever it is. It means you are free. It means whoever wants to say about you, say. Who wants to talk about you, talk. Well, do you, well, you're free. Because this is mukti. This is freedom. Freedom in this life is, this mukti in this life is when you're free from everything people have against you and for you. And when you are just admiring the things you are nurturing. That is mukti. And you can see right through the aura of people, those who are attaining or have attained mukti. There's always a smile. There is always something to celebrate. Even if there is a storm or whatever it is, there is always something to be happy about. And so Jadabharata became the, kid, the deer in his next birth. He became a deer and he looked at the body and he says, what is this? In my whole previous birth, I did Narayanam, Narayanam, Narayanam. And now Narayan give me a body of a deer. What kind of thing is this? Narayana told him, hey, fawn, you have attained this body because when you are leaving, you are attached to your deer. And so I have given you the chance now to become a deer so you don't have to be attached to, any, to it anymore. You, have, you are the deer. Jada Bharata, he says, oh, so that's it. Well, I'm going to make a sankalp. Ityeva nigudni vedo vijusamrigo mataram punar bhagava shri shamupashama shila magnonia diyam shalyam pulasya pulahakshayam kama laksham ratna prajayam gamaham. He says, as of today, I'm not going to eat anything that is tasty. So, what is the deer going to do? The deer is going to do vrat in his whole life. He says, I'm not going to eat any grass that has juice in it. I'm only going to eat grass that is dry. That is dry. He's going to do a tapasya. So much he values. So much he values the human body that he says, in the next birth, I want to, I want to be a divine soul. I want to be a divine soul. So in order to do that, I have to upgrade. We do computer upgrade. So often, my friend, software upgrade sometime. Are, don't you want to do a body upgrade once, once in a while? I'm not talking about a facial. I'm not talking about losing a few pounds here and there. I'm talking about an upgrade from a human being into a divine possibility. That is what we have to upgrade. This software, my friends, is a very complex one. So how are we going to do it? We have to tweak. We have to turn. We have to fix. And that Jad Bharata in his dear form is going to fix that. He gives up all the pleasurable tastes of life. He gives up all the pleasurable tastes of life. We have to do penance often. Give up the pleasurable foods. You can even eat vegetarian food, salt food, as long as you have no you know, desire to have other foods. And that is your wrath. In the month of Shravan, I'm so proud of so many of you who have done one month of wrath, of fasting for Mahadev Bhagavan. And have continued until now. People have become vegetarians because of this. No desire to have other foods. Jad Bharata eat only dry grass. When he became, when he, when he ate the dry grass, dry, 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 he gave up the pleasure of eating. What happened? He died after some time because uh, whatever is born has to die, whatever is die, whatever dies has to take birth. No? The, the cycle of Avagavan. So what happened? He dies now. And he, in his next birth, he became a Brahmana. He became, of course, a Brahmana. And 
as a young boy, what happened? He met Rahugan, a king, and he, he wanted a job. So what he did, he, he became, you know, they, have, uh, they did not have uh, vehicles and those, so you have to fetch the, the kings, uh, you know, on the shoulder. They had a little uh, thing that they made for them. And so as uh, Jad Bharata, a young boy, and he, and he put the, the stick on his shoulder and he was fetching the king. There's people at the back as well. The king felt that, uh, you know, there was a little bit of a, a shaking happening. When the king looked out, he see Jad Bharata is jumping like this. He says, put me down. He says, boy, why are you jumping like that? You're disturbing my sleep. Jad Bharata in the Brahmin form. He says, oh king, as I'm walking, I'm seeing ants on the ground. I'm seeing insects on the ground. I do not want to mash any of them. So when I'm walking, I'm trying to avoid mashing the ants on the ground. <laughs> so much wiser he has become, Jad Bharata. But he displayed an immense amount of devotion in his life and wisdom. Some children in this world, my friends, we all, you know, they say that they are gifted people in this world. I don't believe in that stuff. You know, gifted means... You know, you've acquired merits in your punar janma. God has not said, hey, hey, you look nice, take this, you gift gone. No. Punar janma amritasyacha. Remember, Bhagavad, janmantare bhavit punyam maha. In our previous birth, janmantare bhavit punyam. This here is gifted. Because amidst everything, you are gifted to be here. Janmantare bhavit punyam. You are given because of your own merits. Not because of anything else. And so he became an advisor to Rahugan, my friends. And uh, of course, after a while, he became a king and one who gives great teachings. The essence of Maharaj Rishabh and Jarabharata Katha is that this life that we are treasuring, that we are keeping so much, what happens in this life? This body is the only thing that can experience pleasure and pain. From within, my friends, we generate sorrows and hatred and love as well. It is such a unique thing. You know, when you see a lion, you run because you know the lion has only one ability. He's going to destroy you. Only going to destroy you. When we see a human being, we don't know if to run or to embrace them. Because a human being can be very destructive and a human being can be very embracing. It's a very unique thing that we have, quality. So, let us, instead of using this beautiful gift... To generate an immense amount of hate and negative emotions, let us generate positive love and energies. And that is essentially what the meaning of Jada Bharata Katha is. Maharaj Parikshit, the dying king, he was so pleased. Ali says, Shukadev Maharaj, I'm so pleased that you have narrated uh, the story of uh, Maharaj uh, Jada Bharata. Please tell me, I want to hear about Ajamil. Book 6 of the Srimad Bhagavatam talks about Ajamil. Ajamil, my friends, what happened to him? He was known as a very unrighteous man in his later life. Very sinful man. Very, very sinful man. He used his body as a, as a pleasure vehicle. Had so many wives and everything. But Ajamil had one son whose name was Narayana. And as Ajamil was dying, or as he was living his later days in life, every day he called Narayan, 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 Narayan. And as he was dying, he was only thinking, remember that one child? He was thinking about Narayan, Narayan, he's calling Narayan, Narayan, Narayan. When he died, the attendance of Narayan came from him, and the attendance of Yamraj came from him, and they won one big fight. The attendance of Yamraj taking, want to take him to hell, and... Uh, <laughs> The other guy says, this man is sinful. What was going to happen here? But what we don't know about Ajamil was that in his early, most of his life, he was a tapasvi person. Mean, he was a very prayerful, peaceful, and pure man. And you know what changed his life to become what he was? A womanizer? One day, as he, was, as he finished his bath, uh, from the rivers and he was going here's jane when he has a lota and his mala japam he saw a young boy and a girl in public engaging you know in activities that they should be doing in private and that you know drew a lot of attention and that changes life in a negative way there is a place and there is a time for everything yesterday i read to you 
about Diti and Kashyap. Sandhya Kal, this, this time here, is not a, a together time. It is a time for prayer. They went in, in husband and wife activities, and what happened? They gave birth for three generations. You know, Ravan and Kunkaran, Dantavakt and Shishupal, Hiranyakashipu, Hiranyaksha. They had to be cursed to come on this earth to live as demons. There's a time for everything, there's a place for everything. I tell young people a lot and they don't like it, but you have to say it. You know, one day you'll be married and all this stuff that we display in public, when you get married, most, most of the times you will not want to see each other. So what are we doing, right? But every stage of the body has a need. And what the West has doing today, we are falling victims of that as well. We're falling victims of that as well. Hinduism has something called Grihasht Ashram. You get married and everything in that ashram, it is so pure, everything in that ashram becomes sacred. That's why marriage is a very good thing, Suraj. Marriage is a very, very good thing. Amazing thing, marriage is. Because your home is not a home anymore, it becomes an ashram. It becomes an ashram. Suraj is getting married later on this month. And I'm so happy that he is because uh, marriage is for him. And of course, Cindy as well. He's not going to marry himself. So. Ajamil saw this hideous act and he was inspired by it. And that's, that's the, how his life, you know, fell down. And so what happened? His, his deeds got him to God, my friends. His deeds got him to God. And so what happened? Maharaj Parikshit, he heard this katha as well, and he, he encouraged all my friends to, of course, be prayerful at all times. Maharaj Parikshit says, let's go, Shuk Shukadev Mahamuni. Tell me more, tell me more. I want to hear more. Shukadev Mahamuni says, wait, no, we got to sing a bhajan. Chin liya mera chota saman. The heart is like makhan. This heart is like butter as the saints describes. That's why we say our heart melts. Na? A stone doesn't melt. Iron doesn't melt by heat and so on. Well, under extreme circumstances. But butter melts. And that's why they say, is let your heart be like butter. Please do not eat a lot of cholesterol though, because that's not going to make your heart turn like butter. It means your heart must be soft. Your heart must be soft as the makhan. Soft as the makhan. And when your heart becomes makhan, butter is a Western word for makhan. Oh gosh, there is no description to, to drinking makhan. Vrindavan makhan, Mathura makhan, the best of all. So keep your heart as sweet as makhan. And then when your heart is sweet as makhan, chinaliya mera chota saman. Krishna Bhagawan will come and chinaliya. He will steal like he stole makhan from the gopis of Vrindavan. He will steal your heart as well. Radha Ramana, Pyari Radha Ramana. Radha Raman is the beautiful Murti of Bhagwan Shri Krishna in Vrindavan. When we go to Radha Raman temple, very popular. Radha Raman, you think that you're going to see a magnificent, magnificent statue of Shri Krishna. But when you go, he is uh, eight inches tall. <laughs> eight inches tall. And so when the pujaris uh, open the blind, I'm like, where is this Krishna man? There's hundreds of people here. Where is this guy? And then you, you see people are zooming with a camera and thing. And I'm like, where is he? One little Krishna, but he's so cute, so dark. And every day they dress him so many times. You know, he's on Facebook as well, Radha Raman. He's on Facebook. He's on um, uh, uh, YouTube as well. So I always look at him and admire his beauty because he's so little. So... Let Radha Raman, Shri Krishna Bhagwan, come and steal our heart. Chin liya mera chota saman. Chin liya mera bhola saman. Radha Raman, pyare Radha Raman. Radha Raman, pyare Radha Raman. Chin liya mera chota saman. Radha Raman, Pyari Radha Raman, 
राधा रमन गोकुल का ग्वाला वो ब्रज का बसैया सखियों का मोह नरमा का कन्हैया गोकुल का ग्वाला वो ब्रज का बसैया सखियों का मोह नरमा का कन्हैया भगतों का जीवन और निर्धन का धन भगतों का जीवन और निर्धन का धन राधा रमन प्यारे राधा रमन राधा रमन प्यारे राधा रमन छीन लिया मेरा छोटा समन छीन लिया मेरा भोला समन राधा रमन प्यारे राधा रमन राधा रमन प्यारे राधा रमन हो यमुना की जल में वही शाम खेले लहरे से उछली और करत की लोले यमुना की जल में वही शाम खेले लहरों से उछली और करत की लोले बिछुरन कभी और कभी है मिलन बिछुरन कभी और कभी है मिलन राधा रमन प्यारे राधा रमन राधा रमन प्यारे राधा रमन छीन लिया मेरा भोला समन छीन लिया मेरा छोटा समन राधा रमन प्यारे राधा रमन राधा रमन प्यारे राधा रमन जय जय राधा रमन हरि बो जय जय राधा रमन हरि बो जय जय राधा रमन मन भगवान की जय कृष्णवन कीर्तन विष्णु स्मरण पाद से वनम परीक्षित महाराज अ डाइंग पर्सन माय फ्रेंड्स यू कैन यू हैव टू ऑलवेज ग्रांट देयर विश इट इज फोर्थ डे सो थ्री डेज है मोर ही हैज टू डाई अ डाइंग पर्सन यू नो दिस यू हैव टू डू एग्जैक्टली व्हाट अ डाइंग मैन और वुमेन वांट्स I have pulled the plug on thirty-four lives already. Thirty-four. I'm telling you how it is. Stand stood by people, as they say goodbye to life in front of your eyes. If you're not hard at, do it. Consciously, sometimes unconsciously, they are. They know that you're pulling the plug or taking out the tubes on them, and they only know you're gonna die. They ask for energy. I wish God give me a few few more breath to talk to this and to talk to that or see this and see that. Why wait till then for that breath? Do it now. A dying person, they will ask you to sing Bhagavatam. They will ask you to sing Gita, Dhyanam, whatever they ask you to sing. You have to be prepared to give it to them. You are the giver at that time. You have no time constraints. You have to be there, mid of the night, early morning, mid of your job, at one point. 
point in my, in my life, I had a kurta in my car all the time. I'd be called to go to the hospital, boom, gone. Because a dying man's wish should never be denied. Never be denied. You have the opportunity. You have the opportunity to help a person to go from this life to a divine being, to leave this heart and to enter kingdom, to burn away thousands and thousands of birth of sins, Papa. You have the ability to do that. So a dying man's wish should never be ignored. Maharaj Parikshit says, uh, Shukadev Mahamuni, I have three days more to live. I want to hear about the young Prahalad Maharaj, the youthful Prahalad Maharaj, how he as a young person inspired the youth movement of the world. Maharaj Parikshit's request and Shukadev Mahamuni describes to him the story of Prahalad. I wouldn't spend a lot of time on it. You know the story very well. Hiranyakashapu, remember the two brothers, Jay and Vijay, who were the doorkeepers of God? They were cursed. They were the sons of Diti and Kashyap, who engaged in activities in a certain time that was prohibited. So their children for three generations had to be demons. Hiranyakashapu, Hiranyaksha, Ravan Kumkarand, Dangtabak, Shishupal. Ravan Kumkaran was killed by, of course, Bhagwan Ram in his Tritayuk. Now Hiranyakashapu and Hiranyaksha. Hiranyaksha, the brother, was slain by Varaha Bhagwan. When Hiranyaksha took the earth under the oceans, Varaha Bhagwan became the boar and brought back the earth and fought him, killed him. Hiranyakashapu is alive now. Hiranyakashapu was married to Kayadu. And when he was married to Kayadu, Naraji, of course, is close to all of these demons as well. Kayadu became pregnant. And Naraji is a saint, and he saw such a demonic father, but such a noble mother. He says, one good and one bad. At least, you know, let the child be a divine being. So you know what happened? Narad Muni, he stole the wife of Hiranyakashipu, Kayadu, and took her away. There was a big battle happening in Hiranyakashipu. He stole the king's wife, yeah, took her away. And you know what she, he did? He sat her down and he, and he taught her Bhagavatam. He taught her Bhagavatam. Satchidananda Rupai Vishwapatyadi Heta Veta Patra Vinashai Shri Krishna Vayam Namaha Nigamakal Patarol Galitam Shukarmuka Ravindasam Nuktam Pipata Bhagavata Samalayam Muhuraho Rasika Bhurivavakam. And he gave her the juice of Bhagavatam, the nectar of Bhagavatam. All of it he gave. And the Narayan Leela. And she, now remember what I told you about sanskaras when a person is pregnant. Three years before the pregnancy, whatever you have experienced as an individual, that is what you give to the child. And when the child is in the womb, whatever you do, whatever you think, whatever you experience, the child experiences that. The child in the womb of Kayadu now became Narayan. <laughs> and when he was born, his name was Prahalad. When he, was, when he was given the shiksha by Narad Muni, that, he's, uh, that you know, Narayan is there and he's a creator and all of that, Prahlad Maharaj went to school. Hiranyakashipu made his own school and taught the teachers how to teach people that he's God. Prahlad Maharaj caught everyone and told them, no, 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 Papa is Papa, he's king. He has to do his job as a demon. He came from demon dynasty, so he has to do his job, but Narayan is God. Narayan is God. And when Hiranyakashipu got wind of this kind of discussion, he, uh, you know, he spoke to his child, Prahalad Maharaj. You know, the worst thing you can do is to tell someone that who you are. People must find out by your actions who you are, right? People must find out by actions who you are. And so uh, he tried, and Prahalad Maharaj did not. And he said, Prahalad, if you don't do this, then there'll be lots of, you know, repercussions. Prahlad Maharaj went and when the teacher would go away, he would start his own katha. He had his own katha. And uh, father gave him final warning. That, you know, if you don't, I will have to give you punishment. So he went to the school and he did his own thing again. One day the king put him on the lap to sit down. And says, Prahlad, tell me what did you learn in school today? Beta, did they teach you about me? Did they teach you I'm king, I'm raja? Prahlad Maharaj says, no. Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu 
स्मरणम पाद सेवनम अर्चनम वंदनम दास्यम सख्य साख्यमात्मा निवेदनम पुंसर्ता विष्णु भक्ति क्षेत्र वलक्षणा क्रियते भगवत युद्धा तन्मे धीत मुतम एंड प्रहलाद महाराज सेस पापा दिस इज वॉट आई लॉन्ड श्रवणम कीर्तनम विष्णु स्मरणम पाद सेवनम अर्चनम वंदनम दास्यम साख्यम आत्मा निवेदन दिस इज कॉल नव ज्योति जगाने वाला वन वी से ये अमर ग्रंथ ये मुक्ति पंथ ये पंचम वेद निराला नव ज्योति जगाने वाला द भागवतम इज द नाइन लाइट्स दिस इज वॉट इट टॉक्स अबाउट श्रवणम कीर्तनम विष्णु स्मरणम पाद सेवनम अर्चनम वंदनम दास्यम आत्मा निवेदनम प्रहलाद महाराज प्रभु माई फादर I have learnt in school that shravanam to hear the names of God. I have learnt this is called the nine forms of devotion, and according to Bhagavatam, shravanam to hear the name, to praise the stories of the Lord, to chant uh, His name, to remember Him, to wait upon Him is very important. To wait upon Him and to offer worship unto Him. to offer salutation to him to dedicate one's action to him to cultivate friendship with him and to offer one's body to him papa i have learned this in school and i have learned that narayana when you give these nine forms of devotion to narayana then the nine lights inside of you will always brighten your life no what is it shravanam you must always listen kirtanam you must always sing jai jai ho govinda jai gopala smaranam always think pada sevanam wash his feet always archanam take flowers and go om krishna ayana ma om janardhana ayana ma vasudeva ayana ma trivikrama ayana ma srinivasa ayana ma pundrika aksha ayana ma madhusudana ayana ma call whatever name or say om krishna ayana ma 108 times doesn't matter that's called archanam vandanam sing his vandana his praises not anybody's praises not anybody's praises don't try to praise people our actions are supposed to 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 praise us not people praise the lord dasyam don't become a servant of anybody i've always tell my young children in the temple here if you are taking a job in which you are becoming a servant the minute you have to wake up in the morning and say oh my god i got got to walk it means you have become a slave to your profession you have become a slave to your profession and you have not become a, a, a slave to god right we become a slave to our profession that's why i tell them all the time the youths the young people here i said your parents have already made their choice they've already made their bed they've already made their life but make yourself so demanding that you can choose what you want in life without being a slave to your profession it is a bad thing to wake up in the morning and to have a headache you haven't even started your days yet and you have a headache imagine go to work what will happen you're going dead Huh? That that is why I never enjoy what you do. If the most enjoyable days of my life was when I was making cotton candy in Scarbo, I was a candy man. Put in all it re- requires. You take sugar, you put some coloring panam. I you got a machine a spin like this. You put them on. You, you spit out the cotton candy. You take the candy, put it in the bag, you seal them. Done. You go home. You have no computer. You have no cell phone. You have no position. You have no staff. You have no nothing. And you learn your mantras, whatever. Sing night time. Next day, cotton candy again. Make cotton candy. What happened again? You go wash it all again. Make cotton candy again. No board. It was the most enjoyable state of my life. I told you the happiest point in my life when I was a candy man, and of course the most happy time in my life was when I get married. You know, <laughs> so right, Lauren, Lauren, I'm telling you, I have a lot of care for you. I have to teach you well. Never praise your employer in front of your wife. Never praise your job. When you're married, there is no more happier moment than that. You know. So I was happy when I was a candy man, but I became so more happy when I got married, right? But to allow 
yourself to be a servant of somebody. Oh, my God, boss, boss, man, I come. My God, do work. Boss, man, God, what happened? Oh, God, my breathe some fresh air now. What kind of life is that? What kind of life is that? Most of us are working from home now. People are, uh, uh, all the time, they got to play it on computer for sure them they're online because if they're not they're online, then boss could be upset. What kind of life is that, man? What is that? The minute we have become a slave to our job, we are destroying our life. Dasyam, become a slave to Mahadev. I can sit here and talk all night and talk to all tomorrow. Well, of course, I'm going to talk by myself because I'll go home. I will never get tired. When it is time to go to Mandir, ask my family. I'm fueled up. This is my relaxation because I take pleasure in serving Mahadev. In fact, when I serve him, I do not ever get tired. Whole day, night, doesn't matter. I don't get tired because as a servant to him, fuel comes in the body. But as a servant to the world, they take the fuel away from your body. That is the difference between a vacation and a pilgrimage. You go on a seven-day vacation, it takes the juice away from your life. You got to take another seven days to sleep it off. But when you go on a pilgrimage and you come back from Bharat, when you come back, what happens? You're full of energy. Always happens. Do not become a slave to the word. Archanam Vandanam, sing his praise, not anybody else's praise. Today we have to laugh at our bad, of, of the bad jokes of our boss, you know. The boss make a joke, you have to laugh, ha, ha, ha. Because if you don't laugh, ha, 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 boy, you're in trouble. You don't laugh at the boss joke, you're in trouble. You have to laugh, ha, ha, ha. And you have to, even our guy and his people come over here and you have to have the conversation they have at work. We talk about cottage and canoe and we don't know what and what we talk about over here. When we live in Zinc House back home, what happened? You have to get into the Western uh, discussion. Vandanam, you sing their praises by Prabhu. Morning, he gave on half, on, on half minute, he arrived. But you got to sing Bas praises. Vandanam, Vandan Karo Bas. No? Arise problems in life. Big problems. Dasyam. Sakhyam Atma Nivedanam. Atma Nivedanam, which means Atma Nivedanam. Let your soul become his soul. This is the essence of Prahalad Kathabai. We all know it's a holy kind of thing, try for ornaments, so no? This is the nine lights. Atma Nivedanam, Prabhu, my soul, the only desire I have is to become one with your soul. Jivatma, to become Paramatma. When we do Shrad, we do that, no? We get two Pinda, and we put it together. May the soul of my father merge with the soul of my Paramatma. The Pandajiri is the mantra. Today we are, solid, we are searching for soulmate. You know the story? We are searching for soulmate, yet we are attracted to the body. Isn't that it? We are trying for soulmate. You can't see soul, you don't know what people's soul look like, but we are searching for soulmate. But when you see the girl in a nice, how? We are admiring, we have a body relationship. That is why marriages are collapsing today. Because our relationship, our body relationship, before marriage, oh boy, all the flare, flames are there. After marriage, the flames are cool. Body is satisfied. So there is no more flame. There is no more desire to love each other. When we have lost the desire to become one with someone's soul. Kanyadan is not the merging on union of two bodies. not when I have cut this out so much in weddings. It's one of the momandaria give them data. That is not it. Kanyada is not nobody gives away their data. Data can never be given away. Kanyada is when we give away the innocence or when we bless our daughter's innocence with the union of somebody else's soul. That's what Kanyada is. Water is poured. Kanyam, kanakabustayam. <laughs> right. We have lost the thirst for to become one. Sakyam Atmani Vedanam. That thirst for our soul to become one with another person or the divine. See, when, this, when we have a longing for our soul to be with each other, that, my friends, is everlasting. That is everlasting. Body relationships will go like this. Body relationships will go like this, my friends. But love for the soul will last forever. Sakyamatmanivedanam. 
Prahalad Maharaj says, Papa, I've learned that Atmani Vedanam, it is important to become one with Vishnu Bhagwan. When Hiranyakashapu heard that, my friend, this is called Navajoti Jaganiwala. If anybody should ask you, this is Navajoti, the nine lights. When we have nine lights in us, don't worry too much about the chandeliers and these things. They are always going to blow and you have to replace them. But when we are walking, when we are sleeping, when we are walking and eating and the nine lights in us are lighting up the nine forms of devotion to Prabhu, then we will brighten other people's lives as well as much as we are brightened. Here in Yakashapu, as you know, throw him down from rocks and snakes bite him and boil him in hot water. His own son, the, 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 the love for power, what do they say? When the love for power will be replaced by the power of love, man will transform from a human being to a godly being. When the love for power is being replaced by the power of love, man will be transformed from a human being into a godly being. We are love. Amen. Have got to Granger? We got to Granger. Love for power. Love, they just want to hold on to something. Doesn't care if it costs your integrity. You can sell your soul today for power. Doesn't matter. Simplicity has no place in this world, my friends. Power has that place. Hiranya Kashipu, of course, put his uh, sister Holika and uh, Prahalad sat in his lap, in her lap. And she was burned because those that are pure can never, how can fire all, you know, purify what is pure, pure already? The impure Holika was burned and the pure Prahalad remained. And of course, Narasim Bhagwan came. Narasim Bhagwan took the form, of course, Narasimha, Nar, man, and uh, Simha, the lion. Narasim Bhagwan came and, of course, uh, uh, destroyed uh, Hiranyakashapu. He destroyed Hiranyakashapu, my friends, and uh, he had a desire not to be killed inside or outside day and night. You know all of that. Satyam vidhatum jibhritya bhashitam. This is the shloka. Vyaptim chabhute shukhele shuchapna adrishyatatya bhutarupa madhyam Sambhe samanam namrigam namanusham. Sambhe. Here in the country, people say, your, 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 the Lord is everywhere. You say, yes. Is he in this pillar as well of the palace? Yes, Papa is in there. Then let your God come out. And sabhariyam namrigam namanusham. From this tamba, from the pillar, a being came out. Namrigam namanusham. He was not a beast. He was not a, a human being. Half lion, half human. Because that was Hiranyakashapu's desire. What is our desire? It will be manifested one day, my friends. And what happened? Prahlad Maharaj was welcomed by Hiranyakashapu, by uh, Maharaj, um, by Bhagwan himself, rather, Narasim Bhagwan. And Prahlad Maharaj became the celebrated prince. Bole Narasim Bhagavan ki jai. My Maharaj Parikshit, he says, Shukadev, beautiful katha. I want to hear now about the elephant, Gajendra. You said that only a human divine being can ascend to the heavens. What about the animals? What place do they have in God's world? Animals can pray, by the way. Animals come with a, a sense of realization. They may not be able to clasp their hands and pray, although if you teach them to, they will. They will. I have hear, I, I've heard parrots sing beautiful modern people sometimes. You know, I have one family. You go there, his parrot says, Ram Ram Pandit, Ram Ram Pandit, every time. If you talk about over the phone, Ram Ram Pandit, Ram Ram Pandit. Just like a sweet and nice. More than a Ram Ram, sometimes you'll get from others. <laughs> so animals have a way of using their abilities to get to the divine. But Maharaj Parikshit says, tell me about an animal. And then Shukadev Maharaj says, well, you know, there was an animal by the name of Gajendra, Gajendra Moksh. There was an uh, elephant. He was close to Narayana. One day he went uh, with his, uh, his other family to take a bath. And there was an alligator st standing nearby. Uh, there was an alli alligator in the pond. The alligator uh, grabbed his foot. And he was very powerful, Gajendra, very powerful. But uh, he tried his bit to take away the, um, uh, of course, uh, the alligator from his foot. Nothing happened. After weeks, he got very weak. 
as Adi Shankaracharya tells us in uh, Bhajagovindam, 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 Govindam, Bhajamudatate, Tamprapte Sanyate Kale, Nahine Rakshati Dukrit Karne. He says, when our pockets are full in life, we'll have a lot of friends. Uh, we have a lot of acquaintances, but when it is empty, as it empties, we will lose our friends as well. We will lose. No? We will lose them. When fame has you know, gotten in somebody, we'll have a lot of friends, but as the fame goes, we lose them as well. Gajendra was the most powerful elephant. He had so many friends, but as it, he started to become weak now. After weeks, the crocodile would not let go of his foot. And what happened? All his friends left him. His wife left him. Everybody left him because he's so weak. He's incompetent now. Who wants him as a friend? Gajendra, my friends, he took his trunk and there was a flower next nearby and he plucked the flower. He go win the he go palu. He go win the he go palu. He go win the he go palu. Gajin took the flower. He go win the he go palu. Narayan, everybody has left me. There's one who will never leave me, do. He go win the rakho sharn ab to jeevan hari. He go win the rakho sharn ab to jeevan hari. He go win the rakho sharn ab to jeevan hari. He go win the. He go win the. Oh, he go win the rakho sharn ab to jeevan hari. पिवन है तू गयो सिंधु के किनारे नीर पिवन है तू गयो सिंधु के किनारे सिंधु बसत बीच ग्रह सिंधु बसत बीच ग्रह चरण धरे पछारे हे गोविंद राखो चरण अब तू जीवन हारे हे गोविंद राखो शरण अब तो जीवन हारे हे गोविंद राखो शरण अब तो जीवन हारे एंड द एग्जैक्ट प्रेयर फ्रॉम भागवतम नमो भगवते तस्मे यत एतच्चिदात्मकम पुरुषाय दाय जीवाय परेशाय विदामहे यस्मिन निदम यतश्चेदम ये नेदम च इदम स्वयं योस्मात परमाचा परवयतो प्रप्यधे स्वयं मुदम हे गोविंद राखो शरणाब तो जीवन हारे गजेंद्र स्पोक तो भगवान नीरपीवन हे तू गयो सिंधु के किनारे प्रभु इनसेंटली आई केम हेड माय फैमिली टू हैव अ गुड टाइम इन द लेक और इन द पर्पस of uh, bathing and having a good time this disaster has befallen me i lost my strength i lost my pride and i lost my friends and family as well but my lord i know that no matter what i lose in life you will never give up on me rakho sharana please deliver me from this moment that i experienced today he cried the elephant narayan bhagwan was in vaikunt narayan bhagwan jump on his bird garud and he start to fly and is recorded here that Garudji was not flying fast enough to go to Gajendra. <laughs> he was not flying fast enough. Narayan, you know, like you're stuck in traffic and you're late for something. It's like you want to get out of the car, you want to run. Narayanji, Bhagwan, jump off Garud. And he was running like a madman, going after his disciple. Ne? What do you say? That, uh, kabhi, kabhi Bhagwan, kabhi bhakto se kaam kare. जानाथ गंगा पार प्रभु के वत के नाव चले कभी कभी भगवान कभी भक्तों के we are running after God every day my friends कभी 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 नत मेरे दिल ख्याल आता है कभी कभी भगवान कभी भक्तों के काम करे once in a while my friend God runs after his devotees God runs after us God run and at the minute भगवान नारायण appeared his Sudarshan Chakra went and separated the head from the mouth of uh, 
the head from the body of the alligator and Gajendra was freed. Gajendra Moksha. Gajendra Moksha. There was a previous story. Uh, there was a, uh, you know, this, uh, this crocodile and this elephant had a history before, my friends. And as they were dying, as they were dying they, in their previous birth, they died with a desire to revenge each other, to avenge each other. Die with good desires. Because those desires that you die with, you will come back to fulfill them. Unfulfilled desires, right? Maharaj Parikshit says, as he's a dying king, he says, Hare Shukadev, itni sundar kahani timiti vachan. Mujhe aur sunna chahiye. The stories are so beautiful. I feel like I can give up my body now, but I want to hear more story. So, Shukadev Maharaj says, Aur kya sunna chahiye, Prabhu? What else do you want to hear? Maharaj Parikshit says, I want to hear about Maharaj Bali, Raja Bali. And of course, this katha is a very celebrated one, very popular one in the Bhagavatam as well. Maharaj Bali, Raja Bali was a, a king. And, uh, you know, a king he was, very de demonic king. He took over rulership over a lot of things. But he had one good quality in him. One good quality he had in him. You know, when Bhagwan Ram shot uh, Ravana, when he shot Ravana and killed Ravana, Tulsi Das didn't tell us this. There is other Ramayana, Kamban Ramayana, Valmiki Ramayana, and so on that told us this. That he was missing for one year before he went back to Ayodhya. He was missing for one year. He didn't go back to Ayodhya immediately after, um, you know, uh, killing Ravan. Very soon, in three and a half years, our Lord will have a home. <laughs> if you weren't here, I mentioned this that. Sri Krishna Bhagwan, you can go to Dwarka and you can remember him because there is where he built his kingdom. You can go to Mathura and you can experience the Janam Bhumi there of Sri Krishna. You can go to Vrindavan and experience his childhood. You can go to Kailash and experience the home of Shiva. You can go to Varanasi and experience the city of Shiva. You can go to 108 Shakti Peet in India and enjoy the presence of Mahabhavani. But where do you go? Where is Bhagwan Ram's home, friends? When all of us are living in palaces and Krishna has built a palace for himself, Bhagwan Ram has been living in a tent, in a tent in Ayodhya for over 500 years. When we went there, Rama was there as well, in, in Panit Rama, we were there. First time we went to India, we went to Ayodhya. And it is sad because there's nothing in Ayodhya. And you go and you see the Lord and you walk through and the Janam Bhumi is a tent where he was born. They put up a little tent there because of the fights that they are having. 500 years the Lord lived in a tent. In a tent. I'm so happy and Hindus are so proud that the Lord is going to finally, Bhagwan Ram, have a home. And a beautiful one indeed. The economy of Ayodhya will go up. There's nothing in Ayodhya. They have one hotel they call Krishna Palace. And I'm sure Rama can relate. <laughs> Krishna Palace, we went to that hotel and uh, <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> you know, when you go to your hotel and you raise up the pillow and you see something that you don't want to see. <laughs> yeah, Krishna Palace. I hope the, this will bring a lot of economic growth to Ayodhya. And it is something that we all are waiting. Ayodhya is, is a, you, you don't want to go there now because there's something there. So, Bhagwan Ram is going to have a home there, by the way, my friends. And so, Ram Bhagwan, after he killed Ravana, he did not go home until one year after. You know where, what he did? He went to Kailash. He went to Kailash to do penance to Bhagwan Shiva. And he spent one year doing penance to Shivji. And of course, because he had to do penance, the wife got to go with him as well. Wife. You know, Suraj, when you do penance, Cindy have to come with you. When Cindy do penance, you got to go with her. You can never sit for a prayer by yourself. You have to get Cindy all the time with you. I have to take care of my son very appropriately because big step, you know, very big step. I've never looked forward for a wedding so much that I'm looking forward for Suraj's wedding. So. Anyways. Anyways, so where, 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 where Ram Bhagwan? Ram Bhagwan went and did one year penance to, to Shivji Bhagwan. Mata Sita didn't ask her any, any question. After the penance, Mata Sita says, why you pray to Shivji? We could go to Ayodhya. I know people are waiting. He says, no, no. I was praying 
to cleanse my pap. What kind of pap do you have, Ram? You gotta settle for some other community girl when I when Rawan stole me. You built a Tamil army with, with monkeys and bears and you fought a battle for me. You're a hero. Women are going to men are going to look up to you to be a hero to fight like you for their wife. He says, No, 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 I have some sins. I killed Ravan, but he was a bad man. Bhagwan Ram says he was. His ten heads, nine of them were bad, but the one head he kept for Shivji. One of his head he kept for Shivji. And that because I had, to, I had to slay him, I shot the greatest bhakta of Shivji. Ravan was greater bhakta than, to, to Shivji than Ramji was. Jatata viga lajjula prabahi pavitastale gale valam bilam bitam bujanga tunga malika damad 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 dina the marvayam chakara chandra tandavam tano tuna shiva shivam. Aditere Aditere like Tandav Stotram. When we sing Jatata viga laj, he's, he's excited. Yeah? Who do you think wrote the Tandav Stotram? Ravan, when his hands were crushed beneath the, the uh, mountains, he appealed to Shivji. Jatata viga laj, jala prabahi pa. Oh, Shivji, who's Jata hold the Ganga and the, the, the torrent of the world? I pray to you, Shivji Bhagwan, forgive him. And he did so much wrong that Shivji Bhagwan blessed him with weapons. Mahadev Bhagwan loved Ravan very much for his devotion. But he took that power and he channeled it in a negative way. In a very negative way. So Bhagwan Ram went. You know, Ram Bhagwan, when he was fighting Ra Ravana in the battle, he felt so much weakness that Aditya Hridaya Punyam Sarva Satru Vinashanam, he had to call on Aditya Bhagwan. That is why Hinduism has recorded the first solar power. You know, solar power that they are today trying to put one thing on your house and you got solar power. Today they have discovered that sun can give you energy. Aditya Hridaya Punyam, read this thing called Aditya Hridaya Stotram. When Bhagwan Sri Ram was fighting Ravan, he became weak and he called upon Surya. Surya, fuel me right away. And Surya Bhagwan is Surya Vansh, no? Ra Ram Bhagwan, the dynasty of the sun. Bhagwan Surya gave him solar power right away. Solar power. Hinduism is not a plating. This is not plating. Hinduism, solar energy came from us. He was close to being defeated. So Ram Bhagwan appreciated that one quality of Ravan. One quality. Raja Bali in uh, the Bhagavatam, demonic man, but he had one good quality in him. He was a giver. No one could ever ask him for something and he would not get it to give him. He was a king and he was very generous like Karn. Karn in the Mahabharat, he didn't care what it was. He always, he was a giver. He was a giver. He was a giver. To the point when Raja Indra came to Karna and took the form of a sadhu and says, Karna, I want the protective shield that you have. Why? Because Indra wanted his son Arjun, Indra, the power of Arjun. He wants Arjun to win. So Karna ripped off the shield and gave it to Indra in the form of Brahman because Brahman asked for something, he must get it in those days. And so he was a giver. Raja Bali now one day sat, sat to perform his puja, his yagya. And uh, Shukracharya, the guru of the demons, was performing the puja. Lekin, Tere dwar kara bhagwan bhagat bhar tere joli. A dwarf, a dwarf came to the door as a brahman with Janev. Knock, knock, who's there? Dwarfy. Dwarf? Corner dwarf, brahman. So they told Raja Mahabali, that dwarf came, a Brahman came. You know what Mahabali did? Raja Bali, he left his yagya. Shukracharya went out, the guru of the demons went out and saw Mahabali. And when the Mahabali, the king saw the Brahman, demon king, saw the Brahman, he bowed to him. He says, Brahman, Swagatam te namastubhyam Brahmanikam karavayame Brahmashinam tapasakshan manyetaryam badhur dharam. Brahman showed up at his door. Brahman knocked at your door. Must open the door. Swagatam te namastubhyam. I bow to you, Mahabrahman. And welcome. Come in. Brahmanikam karavamate. You look like a Brahman. Your aura is a Brahman. Please come in my home and bless my home. He brought in dwarf. This dwarf was an incarnation of Narayan who has come to put the end of Raja Bali. 
ब्रह्मणी शाम तपासाक्षान मन्येत्वान्या बबूर धरम by your presence here alone your tapasya that you have did your body will radiate blessings in my kingdom please please the tapasvi brahmana they come to your home they don't have to pray they just have to sit and they radiate your home with energy adhyanam pitaran suptam adhyane pavitam kulam adhyakishta krutvam yat bhagavana gato grahan Raja Bali says, "Brahman, you know, watch the Brahman feet in saying." And Raja Bali says, "Brahman, I have to give you dakshina. That please tell me what you want." Shukra Acharya, the Guru says, "No, Bali, don't submit to him. Don't submit to him. Don't give him anything." And Raja Bali says, "Why?" He says, "This is not a dwarf. This is Vishnu who has come here. This is Narayan who has come here to destroy you." Raja Bali, he says, "Wow." I am a giver of everything. Nobody has a, have I ever declined anything. And now, you know, Narayan has come to my home as a beggar. God has come to my home as a beggar, as a brahmana. How can I decline him anything? Ask me, brahmana, kya chahiye? Gau chahiye? Lan chahiye? Sone chahiye? Kuch bhi chahiye? Me do dunga. Whatever you want, I'm going to give you. तो ब्राह्मण ने कहा था कि तस्मात्वतो महिमीषद वृष्णे हम वर दर्श भार पदंती त्रिनी देत्येन्द्र सम्मितानी पदा मम भगवान सेज वारा भगवान सेज दैट आई वॉन्ट थ्री पीसेस ऑफ लैंड भगवान सेज आई वॉन्ट थ्री पीसेस ऑफ लैंड थ्री पीसेस ऑफ लैंड थ्री फुट ऑफ लैंड दिस इज अमेजिंग You know what caused Mahabharat, right? You know what caused Mahabharat? Because when the Pandavas went, the five brothers went to the Kauravas and says, "We want five villages of land for our brothers to settle along. Only five villages. Please give us that, and we'll all be happy. You can take kingdom, everything. You take everything. We want five villages of land." Duryodhana says, "Five villages. I will not give you land equal to the eye of a needle." I will not give you land. This this fighting for land story between cousins and brother and sister and so came long ago. I will. You ask a five village. I will not give you land equal to the eye of a needle. And I always told you this, no. That's why when you go Christmas time and so go shop at the mall, you see people are kill each other from parking space. How much fight they on TV? Big video. People are beat each other because of parking space. Me go me here first. No, people are stand up in the parking lot. I see this. People stand up in the parking space and put up their hand like this, right? I'm like, why you have never read Mahabharat? You fighting for a four by six piece of land that is not yours? When in the Mahabharat the greatest battle was fought on this earth because one brothers would not give land equal to the eye of a needle. Have we not learned our Mahabharat? So Christmas time must remember Mahabharat when you go to shopping. Don't kill yourself up for a little parking space, man. What what are we doing? No. Who want land? Give them land. You work for your own property. Who want inherit? Who want to do? Live like a free bird. This is called mukti, people. Live freely, right? Mahabali says three pieces of land go, and the Lord, my friends. The Lord, Varaha Bhagwan, I keep saying Varaha Bhagwan. The Lord, uh, he he expanded himself. Vaman Bhagwan, rather, Vaman Bhagwan, the dwarf. Vaman Bhagwan, the dwarf, he expanded himself. And uh, when he expanded himself, the self became so big. Nanyate kamaya rajan. भगवान Said to Mahabali, "Where should I put the third foot? Where should I put the third foot? You are, I ask for three feet." He said, "Prabhu, place it on my head, because that means, that meant that the pride 
of Mahabali would be crushed by the feet of the Lord. Hmm? The pride of Mahabali would be crushed by the feet of Bhagwan. Dar pe tumhari savara Dar pe tumhari savara Khud ko mita diya Dar pe tumhari savara Khud ko mita diya Maine tumhari को मिता दिया दर पे तुम्हारी सावरा दर पे तुम्हारी सावरा आई हैव कम टू योर डोर्स प्रभु सावरा कृष्णा टू प्लेस माय हेड खुद को मिता दिया आई हैव कम माय सेल्फ टू प्लेस माय हेड एट योर फीट सो दैट योर फीट कैन प्रोटेक्ट कैन क्रश माय ईगो एंड बिकम अ डिवाइन थिंग एंड सो महाबली ऑफ कोर्स ही वाज डिस्ट्रॉयड by uh, vaman bhagwan the dwarf i think i've kept saying varaha but varaha is a boar vaman bhagwan the dwarf mahabali went to the heavens and uh, that is the incarnation of vaman bhagwan book 9 of the bhagavatam is all ram bhagwan talks about his life and um he talks about the life of bhagwan ram i don't need to read ramayan tonight i think uh, आदव राम तपो वनागमन हवा मृगा कांचन वैदेह हरण जतायुमरण सुग्रीव संभाषण बाली निग्रहण समुद्रतरण लंका पुरीदाहण पश्चात रावण कुंभकर्ण हणन मे तदी रायण एक श्लोकी रामायण देखा तो प्रिपेयर वेन डूइंग रामायण टू डू दिस एक श्लोकी रामायण देर इज वन श्लोक दैट डिस्क्राइब द होल रामायण आदव राम तपो वनागमन हवा मृगा कांचन भगवान राम केम एज मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम दिस इज नाइन बुक ऑफ भागवतम वी हैव टू टॉक अ लिटल बिथ अबाउट देन कृष्णा वे बी रेडी सीता भगवान राम माय फ्रेंड्स के मज मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम पुरुषोत्तम मींस पुरुष उत्तम पुरुष उत्तम पुरुष मींस मैन उत्तम मींस द हाईएस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ मैन ही केम द हाईएस्ट ऑर्डर ऑफ मैन ही लिव्ड वैदेही हरणम जतायु मरणम ही वाज मैरिड टू सीता वैदेही हरणम शी वाज स्टोलन अवे जतायु मरणम जतायु ट्राइड टू सेव हर जतायु डाइड सुग्रीव संभाषणम ही बिकेम फ्रेंड्स विद सुग्रीव बाली निग्रह हरणम ही डिस्ट्रॉय बाली बाली निग्रह हरणम समुद्र तरणम एंड ही क्रॉस द ओशन लंका पुरी दाहनम डिस्ट्रॉय लंका एंड एवरीबॉडी देव पश्चात रावण कुंभकर्ण हरणम ही डिस्ट्रॉय रावण कुंभकर्ण ए तद्दि रामायणम दैट इज रामायण व्हाई इज भगवान राम वर्शिप्ड बिकॉज़ ही इज नारायण नॉट सो मच His entire life was a disaster. You know that. Whole life was a disaster. Ram Bhagwan. When it was time for him to crown king, Banbas. When he got Banbas, so much fight. Wife got stolen away. All his enemies came. Uh, he he had no human beings that take bears and monkeys build an army. Then his brother got shot in Lanka. Said, "Don't cry over his brother." Hanuman monkey had to come help him. He couldn't help his brother. And when the monkey helped him again. fight the battle he had to go to tapasya return to ayodhya when he returned to ayodhya one washa dhobi wala says your wife is impure send the lady back to the banbas again his sons were born in the in the in the banbas he did not even know about it the sons almost fought with him a war love kush love kush but he loved sita so much that whenever he did a puja you know what he did he made a sone ki sita he made a golden sita It is not right for a husband to pray alone or a wife to pray alone. In South India, if the husband, uh, if the wife is ill or in the hospital or so on, the husband has to pray. You know what they do? They take a blouse of the wife and they put it on the left shoulder. I've seen this. They took a blouse of the wife and they put it on the left shoulder and they do the puja. In circumstances or in certain times when the wife cannot sit in prayer, but the wife and the husband must sit in prayer at all times, right? and it doesn't mean you're not going to get blessing if you sit alone it just means that 
it is not going to be as it should be when both sit together. So right, check out. Good. So um, that's pretty much what happened. Before he does puja, Ashwamedha Yagya, he put golden sita, and he did puja. Did puja. Very important for that family structure to exist. His sons came to him, and they almost got into a battle and all that. His life was a disaster. Why do we pray to him? Because Sri Ram Bhagavan, not for a single moment, he never ever wavered from the path of maryada, from the part of rules and dharma. Not a moment did he ever waver. Remember Supnika Ravan ki behana? When Supnika became this female uh, princess and beautiful, came to approach him and tell him that there is no man like you and there is no woman like me. Remember that story? He could have settled for something local. No, didn't give up. He built an army and fought for his woman. Men should learn to do that today. Men should learn from Ram Bhagwan how to be a man. Maryada Purushottam. When Lakshman was dying in his hand, why didn't he raise up his hands and cure him right away? No, he wanted to show us that people are going to die, people are going to sick, and how we get it over. We have to give trust in the doctor. So Shane, he, he, he didn't do anything magic. Krishna Bhagwan did all of that. He came to show us how to live like man for that reason. We worship the qualities of Sri Ram, and of course, he's Narayana. Na, that's Ram Autar in Book 9 of Bhagavat. And of course, in Book 10, which is called Dasham Skanda, is when we welcome Bhagwan Sri Krishna. I wouldn't read Sri Krishna Leela tonight because we'll do that Janmashmi night. But you know, when Kansa, and uh, Kansa, I'll give you a little quiz here. There are two major demons who were destroyed by Shri Krishna in one altar. Kansa was one of them and Shishupal. Shishupal, in one altar, Krishna Bhagavan destroyed both of them. So Kansa, as you know, married Devaki. And a uh, voice came from the heavens that uh, the eighth child, Ashtamo Garbho, the eighth child will actually be the cause of your death. And he was going to cut Devaki's neck in from the body. And Vasudeva says, I promise that every child is born, I will give it to you. And you know that story very well. I'll talk in Janamashmi night. I won't elaborate too much tonight. What happened? Uh, they were in prison and every child was born, was given. The eighth child would be, you know, uh, the one that will take his life. Bhagwan Shri Krishna was born on the eighth day. He's the eighth avatar of Narayana. And he came, my friends. And uh, tomorrow we'll talk about this, this Ban Lila and so, Ban Lila of Krishna Bhagavan. But tonight we want to bring the, the baby Krishna with us here. Baby Krishna ready, Sita? Sita, baby Krishna ready? Om, we're going to welcome baby Krishna tonight. Afterwards, we'll do Arti. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Everybody please stand Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om 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 Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Bolo Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Bolo Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 
जन्म लियो कृष्ण कन्हैया गोकुल में बाजे बधैया जन्म लियो कृष्ण कन्हैया गोकुल में बाजे अरे बाजे बधैया बाजे बधैया बाजे बधैया जन्म लियो कृष्ण कन्हैया गोकुल में बाजे बधैया जन्म लियो कृष्ण कन्हैया गोकुल में अरे मात यशोदा बलि बलि जावे मात यशोदा बलि बलि जावे अरे जुग जुग लेत बलैया गोकुल में बाजे बधैया जुग जुग गोकुल में बाजे बधैया जन्म लियो कृष्ण कन्हैया गोकुल में बाजे बधै अरे जन्म लियो कृष्ण कन्हैया गोकुल में बाजे बधैया जी टू तुर अर्चन आरती एवरीबडी विल कम जस्ट नाउ यू कैन नॉट टच द बेबी एंड सोन बट प्लीज यू कैन आउचे द बेबी यू नो वी नाउ आउचे दिस डेज विद गैले कनोलियन एंड थिंग आउचे विद सम अदर थिंग्स एंड जस्ट बाउ इन फ्रंट ऑफ भगवान बाल कृष्णा ही इज कम टू गिव यू दर्शन टुडे एज सीता विल स्टार्ट फॉर्स विद पूजा हरि नंद यशोदा के लाम बधाई बाज रही हरि नंद यशोदा के लाम बधाई बाज हरि नंद यशोदा के लाल बधाई बाज रहे हरि नंद यशोदा के लाल बधाई Are gopiya everybody can come now please but go in groups in your family groups uh, you can go and take the darshan of bhagwan shri krishna you can give him a little darshan and so on but do it uh, with your spaces gopinae gwal bhi aaye gopinae gwal bhi aaye लाए हे भर भर ताल बधाई बाज रहे लाए हे भर भर ताल बधाई बाज रहे हरे नंद यशोदा के लाल बधाई बाज रहे हरे नंद यशोदा के लाल बधाई झांज मृदंगा ताल तब बाजे झांज मृदंगा ताल तब बाजे ताल तब बाजे ताल तब अरे पायल की झनकार बधाई बाज रही पायल की झनकार बधाई बाज रही हरे नंद यशोदा के लाल बधाई बाज रहे हरे नंद यशोदा के लाल बधाई हरे गोपी नाचे ग्वाल भी नाचे गोपी नाचे ग्वाल भी नाचे हरे ग्वाल भी नाचे ग्वाल भी नाचे हरे नाचे है सब संसार बधाई बाज रहे नाचे है सब संसार बधाई बाज रहे हरे नंद यशोदा के लाल बधाई बाज रहे हरे नंद यशोदा के द्वार बधाई बाज रहे हरे नंद यशोदा के द्वार बधाई बाज रहे हरे नंद यशोदा के द्वार बधाई बाज रहे बधाई बाज रहे बोले श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान की जय हो टुडे इज वेल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू थैंक अवर स्पॉन्सर्स वाइल यूर डूइंग यूर थिंग इन द मंदिर आई वॉन्ट टू से थैंक यू ऑफ कोर्स टू अवर स्पॉन्सर्स टुडे इन मेमोरी ऑफ पिताजी नरसिम बेजनाथ हु लेफ्ट फॉर हैवन टू ईयर्स अ गो टुडे टुडे वॉज एज इज बर्थ डे एज वेल इज मिस बाय हिज लविंग वाइफ रूबी daughters Ramona Ingrid uh Juliet Ashmini and son Rocky sons in law daughters in law seven grandchildren may bhagwan shri krishna bless you always 
Uh, may your soul always become one with, uh, with the divine. So we want to uh, sing a bhajan today uh, on behalf of this family and, of course, comfort them in their time of loss. Pitarji Narsim Pejnath, whose birthday is as well today. Om Shri Krishna Chandra Bhagavan Ki Jai. Please, as you come, please do not touch the baby. Just uh, do your thing in front. And as you finish, you can sit down back again. But please don't touch the baby. Thank you. Om Karta Rehmat Ki Barsat Hai Karta Rehmat Ki Barsat Hai Murli Wale Ki Kya Baat Hai Murli Wale Ki Kya Baat Hai मुरली वाले की क्या बात है मुरली वाले क्या बात है मुरली वाले की क्या बात है मेरे प्यारे की क्या बात है मुख पे हरि नाम हाथों में करताल है मुख पे हरि नाम हाथों में करताल भक्त निर्धन के सब का ते जंजाल है भक्त निर्धन के सब का ते जंजाल है धरे नरसिंह की जब हाथ है धरे नरसिंह की जब हाथ है वाले की क्या बात है मुरली वाले की क्या बात है दिख रसिक बिहारी को धायल हुआ काबुल का वो रस कान पायल हुआ करता अशकों की बरसात है करता अशकों की बरसात है मुरली वाले की क्या बात है मुरली वाले की क्या बात है मुरली वाले की क्या बात है इन मेमोरी ऑफ पिताजी नरसिंह बेजनाथ फ्रॉम योर फैमिली योर लविंग वाइफ एंड एवरीवन एल्स भगवान ब्लेस यू सच अ ब्लेसेड डे व्हेन श्री कृष्ण भगवान केम एज इज एन इंकारनेशन वी सेंड हिज ब्लेसिंग्स टू ऑल and of course today um uh, christina and kevin somai they are giving thanks to madurga for the achievements and blessings uh, in their life for the ach- achievements and blessings in life so christina and kevin bhagwati mata blessings bhagwati mata it is her as well i'll read a little bit of that tomorrow who planned the incarnation of shri krishna uh, to come to this earth नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते मो नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते ओ बोलो नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते अरे नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी मे मां जगदंबा ब्लेस क्रिस्टीना एंड केविन for their achievements of course and for giving gratitude today to her in this beautiful katha and uh, today as well my friends um, we have uh, two brothers of our temple byji david and ram mani they sat for puja today to give uh, thanks uh, we'll bring the bal krishna here just now eh pita just now we'll bring him here let's keep him there for you So uh, today, um, Bhai Ji David Mani and his brother Ram, they sat as shrutas, and we want to thank them very much. Today they give uh, 
gratitude to the Lord, Bhagwan Shri Krishna, for in memory rather of their parents and their brother. Their father, Mani, was born in, on May 19, 1916, and died uh, September 27, 1994. And they pay tribute as well to their mother, Mataji Ramdulari Mani, who was born on May 20th, 1929, and who died on July 29th, 1998. And then they give uh, gratitude and uh, in memory, of course, of their brother, Balram Mani, who was born uh, July 2nd, 1949, and who died on June 18th, 1980. Today, uh, in the memory of these three wonderful people, their father, their brother, and their mother, they give uh, thanks and they remember them. The Bhagavatam, you remember what Bhagavatam did to our ancestors, what Bhagavatam did to Dundukari? Allowed him from a prith, he became a divine being and went to the heavens of the Lord. May your ancestors live in the heavens, they are not living there already. May their soul be purified. And for what you have done to become a part of Bhagavatam, may, of course, your entire family and your lineage be blessed. I'd like to sing something as well in their name. Uh, since uh, it is uh, Bhagwan Shri Krishna's day, uh, we sing uh, uh, a song for him. Please bring baby Krishna so uh, uh, we can uh, uh, give him some blessings. तेरी मंद मंद मुस्कन्या पे तेरी मंद मंद मुस्कन्या पे बलिहार सावरे बलिहार सावरे ओ बलिहार सावरे बलिहार तेरी मंद मंद मुस्कन्या पे मंद मंद मुस्कन्या पे बलिहार सावरे बलिहार सावरे ओ बलिहार सावरे बलिहार सावरे तेरी पैजनिया पे तेरी पैजनिया पे तेरी पैजनिया पे तेरी पैजनिया पे तेरे मंद मंद मुस्कन्या पे तेरे मंद मंद मुस्कन्या पे बलिहार बलिहार सावरे ओ बलिहार सावरे बलिहार सावरे तेरे बाल बरे घुंगराले जो बादल कारे कारे तेरे बाल भरे घुंगराले बादल ये कारे कारे तेरे कुंडल की छलकनिया पे तेरे कुंडल की छलकनिया पे बलिहार सावरे बलिहार सावरे हे बलिहार सावरे बलिहार तेरी चाल अजब मत वाले लगती है प्यारी प्यारी तेरी चाल अजब मत वाले लगती है प्यारी प्यारी तेरे मधुर मधुर पैजनिया पे तेरे मधुर मधुर पैजनिया पे बलिहार सावरे बलिहार सावरे बलिहार He, he wants to hold me. You're not going to hold me, buddy. You know, he's my friend. He's a very um, regular viewer of Shanti Satsang, if you don't know. We have a lot of videos with him and a lot of pictures. What's the matter? What's going on? Oh, my God. He's giving me... Yeah. He's a very, very regular viewer of Shanti Satsang. And uh, Natasha, what name did you give him? Xavier. Xavier, baby. Don't we give him a Hindu name? Omkar. 
Omkar, O-M-K-A-R, Omkar. There we go. Yes, remember you wanted something to do with Shiva. So his name is Omkar, baby Omkar. Omkar has become Krishna. Are wah. Gopeshwar Mahadev. Tomorrow, Shivji Bhagwan. Shivji Bhagwan will, will be dressed like the gopi because Shivji Bhagwan wanted to become one of the gopis to dance with Krishna. Can we dress up the ling with the decor team? Can we dress up Lingam as Gopeshwar Mahadev tomorrow? What a brilliant idea. Wow. Amazing idea. So, baby Omkar today is Krishna Bhagwan. And may Bhagwan bless him. He's going to be back here on Janmashmi night to treat us with his presence. And may Bhagwan bless him with a beautiful, bright, divine future. And uh, may he stay healthy and happy as he is today. Bole Bala Krishna Bhagwan Ki Jeho. He's staring at me, man. Here you go. Take your flute, buddy. Here you go. All right. Natasha, can you bring him? So we'll see him again. Of, and he looks so handsome. Can you give baby Krishna a big hand today? <laughs> he looks so cute in his dhoti. And, uh, you know, children, um, when we dress our children like Barbie, yeah, they look all right. But when, when we dress them like Radha and like Krishna, oh, the divinity in them comes out. The divinity in them comes out. When a little boy like that wears dhoti, it brings out the cuteness in him, you know. And the yellow dhoti with that red thing there. Very nice. So this concludes tonight, my friend. Tomorrow we'll do a little uh, Ban Lila of Shri Krishna Bhagwan. Continue Bhagwat. And uh, thank all of you very much for coming. Um, truly, in, when we started the Bhagwat, I told you I wasn't expecting people to come. But I'm inviting you to come out. Because it's Bhagwat, our tent is usually filled outside, and understandably so. It's not like that, but um, there are so many people online, and you are in the temple as well. Tomorrow, the color, if you want to get into the color thing, tomorrow the color would be green, because we're doing Govardhan Puja tomorrow and Ras Lila. So tomorrow, come out dressed in, in something green. A shawl is good enough, or a kurta is good enough. Sorry, no matter. Don't go buy anything new, though. Uh, save up. So tomorrow, we, on, we honor nature. Govardhan Puja. We will have Govardhan Puja here as well to honor Giriraj Bhagwan tomorrow. And then uh, Sunday is our uh, Rukmini Viva or Rukmini Mangal. Krishna Bhagwan and uh, Rukmini um, will get married. We had a sponsor for Sunday, um, but a debt came up in the family, so uh, we don't have a sponsor for Sunday anymore. If there's someone who would like to sit for the Shrota Sunday, um, we will welcome you to do so for Sunday. During the Bhagwat, there is a particular arrangement here, so we have to follow that. And if anybody in line as well would like to uh, become a sponsor or a donor for Bhagwat Katha, we'd like to invite you to do that. Please contact me by text and uh, we will get you set up. God bless all of you. Um, RT, Tayare um, Pandeji. We'll stand for RT, please, everybody. And just the Pandaji is going to be doing RT, of course. Yarni Karni Chapa Pani Janamantar Kritani Tani Sarvani Nashyantu Pradakshinam Pade Pade Jai Bhagavat Bhagavan Ki Hai Arti पापियों को पाप से है तारती जय
वसुदेवसुत दैव कंस चानुर्मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगत गुरु शाताकार भुजगशयन पद्मनाभम सुशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्णम शुभांगं लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगी विरध्यानगम्य वंदे विष्णु भवभयर सर्वोकेकनाथ सर्वे सुखिना सर्वे सू निरामय सर्वे भद्रा पाशंत माँ कचिदुखुभा भवि गुरब्रह्म गुर विष्णु गुरदेव महेशरा गुरसाक्षात्ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम असोमा सत्गमय तम सोमा ज्योतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मात गमय ओं शांति 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 हरि ओम प्रेम से बोलो गणपति भगवान की गुरु महाराज की नवग्रहा देवता की पवन सुत हनुमान की सिया भज रामचंद्र की लक्ष्मी नारायण भगवान की राधा कृष्ण भगवान की भवानी शंकर भगवान की गंगा मैया की यमुना मैया की नव दुर्गा माता की सूर्य नारायण स्वामी की सत्यनारायण स्वामी की सरस्वती माता की माँ लक्ष्मी माता की जय श्री जगदंबिका दुर्गा माता की नम पार्वती पर हर 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 महादेव शंभु श्री राधा कृष्ण भगवान की जय सत्य सनातन धर्म की सब कोई जय जय सीता राम जय श्री कृष्ण they were doing stuff thank you again uh, rt will come around so um please uh take your rt and um take your uh, prashad as well and i uh, will see all of you tomorrow night uh, 7 pm sharp for uh, krishna leela govardhan puja ras leela all happening tomorrow please come on out wear something green and let's celebrate and uh, plan ahead for for our future sessions um we like all of you as well my friends to uh, if you can uh, please <clears throat> listen to me very carefully for this one because it's very important so janmashmi is coming up on uh, on tuesday and um, we know we're going to be in, in a bit of a challenge to uh, uh, host people here for janmashmi so if you're coming to the temple for janmashmi uh, you you have to reserve your seats to be very honest with you you have to reserve your seats the only way to reserve your seats for janmashmi is to text me but when you're texting me you have to use the word j a n m and the number of people who you who are coming with you nothing else no panaji please reserve the janmashmi because what will happen i have to go through these hundreds of messages now and reserve your seats and how do i do that i type in j a n m and that's all i need to know so in order to reserve your seats for janamashmi and those people online as well text me j a n m and how many people are coming so j a n m 4 that's all i need to know and i will get your seats reserved for you now obviously we're going to have a lot of people so we'll figure out how to do what on janamashmi night we'll figure that out don't worry about that so we have a downstairs that we can use our building capacity is 840 as per the, the city so 30% of that is uh, is a lot so you can you can count um, 240 people we can hold in the whole building that night so we're trying to you know keep everyone safe and all that so please text me j let me come now here we go no 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 just text me j a n m and exactly my hundred thank you very j a n m 4 or j a n m 3 and that's it All right, Jai Shri Krishna, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow evening at seven o'clock. Thank you. J.